fact that that song has grown on them, and yeah. I'm just here like, oh, I knew it would. <laughs> yes, that was a joy by Terry. Guys, each day we show up here on your screens, we come with brand new energy and vibes, yo. So even though you might know what to expect content-wise, yo, every day comes with a different spice, okay? Yeah. So one thing is for sure, though, you're going to be dancing, swaying, laughing, ha, ha. Wow. I'm smiling wow. all the way to <laughs> Sophia. If you're laughing like her, I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> Me too. Well, the girls have spoken <laughs> and not one single lie was told. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show, good peeps. My name is Amanda Dara. And today I'm feeling like Mandy. Mandy. Okay. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> it's it's really not feel like Mandy. <laughs> Honestly. No, no, there's some days she feels like Mandy Queen. Pandy or Queen yeah. AD. Ah. Or um, there's something there's Amanda or Dara. Amanda or Dara. <laughs> so the thing is like weather. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you for joining us this rainy afternoon. I hope you are staying safe, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't go and get carried away. The weather is still the weather. Mm. It's still the weather and it's only weather for one. Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, my name is Faladine. And like I always say, welcome aboard. Yeah. Now, as always, we will be kicking off the show with so much. But first up, of course, it's entertainment stories for you on the news. Then we'll take some celebrity birthday shout outs and then rewind. Woman Crush Wednesday as well. Okay, Faladele will bring us today's Streetville segment and then we'll take a look at an interview we recently had with the super talented South to Soul rather, all the way from Kenya. And of course, later on, we'll trade off, bring you the news recap and then wrap up the show as usual in Grand Style with the our e weekly East Park Top, Top 10 Countdown! I'm getting ahead of myself there. Yeah. Nice one, bro. I'm excited. Looking forward to everything, guys. So don't go anywhere, all right? Because we're going to see you in a bit after this break. Stay okay. Tuned. In a bit. In, in a, a bit. In a bit. In a bit. In a bit. In a bit. Black bones right there <laughs> with the shut up. I almost said star bones. Yeah. <laughs> Black bones. Stream haver, stream haver. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. And it is now time for the entertainment news. So let's get right into it. Chioma Roland reacts to domestic violence rumors. Davido's fiance, Chioma Roland, has come out to react to claims that her relationship with the Nigerian singer is in crisis due to domestic violence. For days now, there have been rumors circulating online that Davido fractured his leg during a fight with Chioma after she found out he allegedly welcomed another baby with another woman. Addressing the domestic violence claims, Chioma took to her Instagram page to put out a lengthy statement refuting the claims. She wrote, and I quote, I have never once come out to respond to any blogger or react to any rumor mongers before, as quite frankly, it has never been my nature to engage in online battles or pay too much mind to social media. But I must say, I have found quite disturbing the stories of domestic abuse between myself and David, and for once, feel a need to speak up. Domestic violence and abuse is no joke and not something to ever take lightly. Never has there ever been an incident of abuse in my home. He has never in his life lifted a finger to touch me and I have never so much as even pushed him. She also encouraged people to have the fear of God when speaking on things they know absolutely nothing about. She also insisted that she and her, Dave, um, and her uh, husband-to-be, Davido, do not take allegations of abuse lightly and promises to take up action against the perpetrators of such rumors. She wrapped up the post by also advising the beautiful young ones, in quote, out there to never ever allow a man to lay his hands on them w without speaking up. Hmm. Mm. All right, um, it was quite lengthy, that post. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I what do you guys think? Amanda was trying to get my thoughts on this, but I'll let you guys go first. What do you think about the um, okay, statement when you saw it? Uh, why is it me? <laughs> okay, well, um, what I... Because <laughs> you also call him David like she does. Yo, yeah. So what do you think about, you know, Chema and David? It's not even trivial. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Just okay. Um, so Chema and David, <laughs> Um, our Chivido couple, I would say that, uh, first of all, I like the fact that she came out to, you know, address this one because um, it's, it's okay for you to just say, oh, yeah, you want to ignore people when they say certain things. But this is, you know, you accusing her of being, um, of it, of being violent, rather, and, you know, accusing David or Davido of being violent as Yay. well. I bind the two of you. <laughs> yes, I bind you. So <laughs> this, is, this one is, okay, look, let's get this straight. And she said something about how... Um, a lot of people have, have asked questions saying, oh, why didn't she address the baby mama issue? Exactly. It's, she, she, she said, I'm going to address what I want to address. I just want to claim my name. We've never gone to a point where, you know, we've ever been violent in this relationship. So let us be. And the part that I loved was those that have been reaching out to me, um, showing fake or real concerns. That part, I was like, yes, hit yeah. the nail on there. Because I knew <laughs> some people that were just like, ah, 
they shout, oh, she's okay. Ah, mm -hmm. and they are still laughing. So I like the mm -hmm. fact that she's very aware of the situation. Like people are out there forming fake love and concern, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they are still there yeah. and they just mm -hmm. want to know what's going on. I like the fact she came out. Honestly, I, 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 I couldn't agree yeah. more, Ricky. I really like the post. I was telling Amanda earlier that I really like the post and I like how it was very mature in my opinion. Yeah, very and very, I'm not here to address any petty rumor about mm -hmm. whether or not my um, husband to be has fathered another, another child. child. Yeah. No, I'm not, I don't have time for that. I'm just here to address the fact that this isn't true. So no matter what might be going on, like this particular one is not, it's true, not true and uh, that's all that matters. I actually beg to differ. You don't? Surprisingly, I beg to differ. Oh, yeah? What did you think? Uh, I, I like the fact that she came out to address it. I thought she you know, took a very mature approach mm -hmm, to the situation. Mm -hmm. However, why are you picking and choosing rumors? She could have picked the other one. Or do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think it makes her more mature mm -hmm. to leave some content. Now, the truth of the matter is, when she started dating David o, she became a public figure. And when the whole assurance thing happened, so people are always going to be in your business. So yeah. I, 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 even from the post, you could see that she wasn't surprised that she was getting, you know, the amount of attention she's getting. So I don't think um, it's surprising that people, even in the comment section, is like, oh, yes, that's nice. We get you. But what about that fourth? The meat of the day. No, no, that, I mean, people you know, will be people. At, at the end of people the day, People, Let's not forget sure. the fact that, yeah, she's a public figure or whatever it is, but then her personal business is a personal business. Yeah, but this was so also if, her personal if, business. No, this is defamation of character. You're literally saying that she's violent. To be fair. That's true. That is so an I'm not going to address, if, 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 if we were to flip this around, I'm not going to come out to address whether my baby dad, my boyfriend well, has, you know, mm. his, or, mm. or he's, he has a new baby or whatever it is, or his baby mama's. No, but do not defame my character. Do not, char yeah. you do, do not well, um, you um, assassinate right my character. So that's what she came out to do. Angle. And I really like that. Angle, well, David's friend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to more news. The band finally addresses rape allegation. Nigerian music star The Band has finally reacted to the sexual assault allegations leveled against him a couple of weeks ago by a Twitter user known as Shaitan Babatayo and her friend Benjamin Esse. Benjamin Esse, who is a Nigerian model scout, has alleged that The Band raped his friend in 2018, which said friend also verified in a series of tweets. Shaitan Babatayo claimed that she refused The Band's offered to pay her for sex, but still woke up to find him in her room, after which he allegedly assaulted her. Recall that we also recently told you that she has petitioned the singer and demanded a public apology from him through her lawyers. Reacting to all of the allegations, the band put up photos of the legal documents on his Instagram page, and he wrote, and I'm quoting, Today is exactly one week after my birthday, and this would be the only time I would address the recent false allegations and lies from the pit of hell. I have chosen to do so because the incident is a slap to my marriage and my beautiful wife, my entire family and those who believe in me. I did not want to dignify the slurs with a response, but it appears that my silence has empowered my accusers to think I have been scared into the shadows. So I would like to state that these accusations are false and ludicrous and have been handed over to my legal team while the Nigerian police is investigating the criminal aspect of it. Now he continued. It is unfortunate that this is coming a few weeks before the second anniversary of my late son Daniel and this well-timed falsehood has reopened the painful scars of my deep loss. To my fans and loved ones, thanks for the support, your prayers and your positive comments. The truth will always prevail. God bless us all. Okay. I mean, that's a very good way to end it. The yeah. truth will God always, will always prevail. bless us all. Oh, uh, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Um, ah. Before we talk about the rape, yeah. did he have to bring up his late son? I, so I will get to that. I, I actually will get to that. That was one of the things that I was like, eh, I wasn't sure how, like, what the connection was no, necessarily. Me. However, yeah, some people might even think it was like a form of emotional blackmail yeah, or seeking pity. However, again, we haven't, none of us have lost a child. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very careful not to speak about things like that because we don't know how it was mm -hmm. feeling, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. But um, I just want to say, and I'm sure I've said this before, but I just feel uh, that, um, as if um, rape is one of the toughest things to accuse someone of for reasons on the victim side and or the alleged victim side and the um accusers or the, the accused, accused the accused side yeah so i feel like the, like it remains something that is so tough to prove yeah especially if it has happened years ago yeah. um and you didn't there was no evidence. yeah there was nothing back, yeah. nothing like maybe torn clothes or things like yeah. that to help it's just so so tough because as you guys have been saying because you've talked about it as well your word against mine like how would i know yeah. it is so easy for him to come and say no, don't defame me because there's no way to prove except she has proof. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we keep saying here, and you've probably heard it said, please have something that you can actually use to hold the person mm -hmm. and make sure that you've gone legal first before you come out and share it on social media. Mm -hmm. Please, if not, they will 
poke holes into your story, if especially if it's true. Also, please let it be true. I beg you, because mm -hmm. other yeah. victims will be able to come forward and people will readily believe mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Please, mm -hmm. guys, please. I mean, I'm not even surprised about the fact that he came out to respond to yeah. this. Um, you know, because keeping quiet also sends a wrong message. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has filed a legal suit against you, it's okay, it's only fair that he's also filing one against um, the person yeah. as well to defend himself or to accept the charges. But in this case, he was defending himself about the um, late son and his marriage and everything. I think that was him sharing how it was affecting his personal life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't add to the legal claim, but that was his emotions. Like this is, we all know that his family went through a tough situation with his marriage, with his late son and everything. But that doesn't change the fact that if the accusations are true, mm -hmm. he's going to be tried mm -hmm. the same yeah, way. That's why I said mm -hmm. it was an emotional blackmail because yeah, um, as, as Faladeli said, we haven't you know been through this situation and God forbid we ever go through it. But then what I'm saying is, um, it's, for me, it just sends a message of, please remember, guys, so that when this thing comes out true, people will be like, but he does this. Thing. He's this yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it's like a way to touch people's emotions and let them dis distract them from the main focus. That's how I say it. Mm -hmm. And you know, they say perspective is everything. Indeed, indeed. And indeed. I, however, um, I'm waiting on Shade Tom because um, she she did put in her in her um, petition letter that after seven days, if he doesn't come out to apologize, she would they, they would take legal action. So um, it's it's more than seven days already, and I'm waiting. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just waiting. Well, so we'll I'm waiting to see crossed. how this unravels for you know, sure. Honestly, <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, last story on the news and semi news today is Naramali reacts to private airline statement. Hmm. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. Take drama. A Okay, controversial Nigerian artist Nara Mali has reacted to the alleged statement by private jet company ExecuJet, where he and other members of his team were labeled a bunch of useless people for using their private jets to travel from Lagos to Abuja for his concert. Reacting to the statement, Nara Mali took to his Twitter page to state that he and his army of Malians will be boycotting the airline. He tweeted, and I quote, Do you know that over 20,000 Malians travel with executive jets a month? We won't be using your useless airline again for calling us useless. Thank God we didn't crash on that flight, Shah, because we nearly did. By the way, we didn't book the flight ourselves. He continued, L-O-O-L, -O -O laugh out out loud. They wow. asked for our names on the jet though, and L-O-O-O, -O -O, lots of out, out, out loud. Your pilot is a Malian <laughs> and everybody there is a Malian too. My name is Aziz Adeshino Fashola and my little brother's name is Mashud Babatunde Fashola and you was begging me to tag y'all. Well, in a new development, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Bello, has stated that Naramali will be prosecuted alongside those who organized the Abuja concert. Now, this move is coming after the event venue was shut down and the private airline that flew the artist and his crew was suspended. You know, this, oh, this made me laugh out, 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 out loud. Out, 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 loud. Out, 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 loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. When this story dropped yesterday, um, and even on Monday when we spoke about it, I kept mm -hmm. saying that in this particular situation, I'm not sure Naramali is fully to blame. Mm -hmm. But you know how you just have love for Mar Naramali and then the next day he just does something like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, that's exactly what well, happened. Yeah. Why did you have to say that? Yeah. You know, because everybody was on his side that he wasn't the one that organized the show. He came out to even say that, please go back to your, oh, your seats and everything. Some, some people <laughs> were on his side. Some people were saying, why are you always in the news? Yes, exactly. But they were not exactly blaming him for the concert mm -hmm. getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. They were blaming the jet company, they were blaming the organizers. Now I blame him too, because you are saying that we're not going to get our Malians to um, patronize you guys, you guys who are doing this, this and that. Like, no, that's not the time to be dragging because you're just giving um, prosecutors more evidence and more proof. <sighs> oh, I think I bet to differ. Um, the, oh, you also bet to differ yeah, at this time. The executive jets people, I saw their statement and I just felt like, look, I'm the, I've the always been a fan of the alleged statements <laughs> though. Um, um, I'm a fan of when you mess up, take responsibility and keep it moving. Don't shift blame. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So for me, when I read that thing, I was like, why? Why then you now say useless? Ugh. I'm weak, oh, I'm weak. I just feel like which everybody, oh, we're all in trouble. Which is why he shouldn't have dignified that with a response. Do you and understand Naimali what I'm would saying? Not dignify so, that no, he shouldn't have dignified <laughs> so, that with a response. So I agree with Amanda. I, I felt like the tweets didn't, 
It's like there's no more um, question about whether or not this happened. We saw the video. We saw you. Mm -hmm. we saw, so at least take responsibility for that part of it, which we mm -hmm. can confirm. The one about who was at yeah, fault. Twenty thousand Malians will not. What's, what's, now, what was that information but for? Away from no, that. What was that information for? But but <laughs> but away from that, I feel also that there are a lot of people who follow Naramali and maybe he can tone down on the controversy, maybe just chill a bit yeah. because of the amount of people following you. Yeah. Also, um, I'm glad that uh, the guys in authority, our leaders are taking charge and taking and putting things in place to um, blame who is to blame and all that. So shutting down the venue, like we can sit here and say who should have organized, who should have, but thank you for shutting down the venue. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, you know, um, calling out the jet company. Thank you for giving blame and, where it's supposed to be. I also think that Naramali has been prosecuted because he's, he's been a victim of this thing before now. Yep. Like he did it in Lagos with the um, Kia 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 house, situation. Yep. So, mm -hmm. For the fact that you are the one again, it's not I, someone else. I mean, I don't understand why you use the word victim. You know, that makes him feel like, <laughs> you know, it makes him feel like he was just there and okay, oh my God, was, they just decided to put him in part of the mess, in uh, the first yeah. mess. <laughs> and now he's, he's a Malian. So if it were to be like, oh, this happened to Naramali before and then this is a Zlatan situation. Uh -huh. I don't think, uh, well, they're together. I would maybe say Davido. Let's say Please, Davido. wherever <laughs> Naramali is, trouble <laughs> follows. I think he just needs to chill a little wow. bit. From yeah, trouble. Yeah. yeah, and that's okay. it on the entertainment <laughs> news. I'm done with these guys. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on to less <laughs> drama and way more positivity. Yeah. It's time for celebrity birthday shout out. <laughs> All righty, up first on our list, Barry Manilow, and he is 77 today. <laughs> He's an American singer-songwriter, musician, producer, and actor with a career that has spanned more than 50 years, guys. Mm -hmm. His hit recordings include Could It Be Magic, Mandy, I Write the Songs, and Can't Smile Without You. He has sold more than 75 million records as a solo artist worldwide, making him one of the world's best-selling artists. Mm -hmm. yeah, Honestly, he's, yeah, he is such a legend in, in a lot of people's books. Mm -hmm. He's so talented and not just, you know... 50 years in the game? 50 years wow. in the game, Amanda. Like, That's God incredible. started, what, like, at 27 mm -hmm. and... I mean, to have not only to not only have cre um, songs in your credit, but also to have arranged songs for other people. Other and people, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. fantastic. That's fantastic. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Barry Manilo. Alrighty, up next, someone I really, really, really like. Kendrick Lamar is Woo! 33 today. He's an American, a multi-award winning rapper regarded by many critics and contemporaries as one of the most influential artists of his generation. Aside from his solo career, he's also known as a member of the hip hop supergroup Black Hippie alongside Absol, J-Rock and Schoolboy Q. Mm. Yes, Kendrick Andre. is, oh my gosh, I'm such a fan. I think his voice is so distinct, which is one thing that I always look out Even for in style. talent. Yes, yeah. your style as well, but like just the identity where you can hear and be like, this is Kendrick. Kendrick. He's yeah. so his talented. Looks as well. Sick. Yes. And even just, you remember we were talking about the other day that he was an opener for Kanye West yes. and just to see his growth yep. from that from time, that time yep. to now. Yeah. In such a short time as well, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amazing, Amazing stuff. Happy Amazing birthday. birthday, Kendrick. Kendrick. <laughs> All righty, up next, Nonso DOB here in Nigeria is also celebrating today. The Nigerian award-winning actor and film director who made his acting debut in 2001 is a year older today. Happy birthday, mm -hmm. Nonso Diobi. Happy birthday. He's mm -hmm. been it's acting, yeah. To know that, you know, Nonso Diobi who cries a lot, is his birthday is on a really rainy day. I wow. Know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Look at that. Cry. Yo! But did you say 2001? Yeah, that yeah. was his um, first. Years. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's amazing stuff amazing, right there. Amazing stuff Happy right there. Yeah. To him. And <laughs> I can never forget him from the video um Tubaba and Sound Sultan Oli. He's, he's in that video. I, <laughs> I always remember that. like that with Omotola and he was Omotola's boyfriend. And yeah. He's yeah. always crying. Like, why are you crying? He's always Whoa. crying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Solid actor right there. Happy birthday, non so Happy birthday. Up next on our list, a legend. Venus Williams is 40 today. Ooh.
She's an American professional tennis player and former world number one title holder. She's generally regarded as one of the all-time greats of women's tennis. And alongside her younger sister, Serena Williams, she's credited with ushering in a new era of power and athleticism on the women's professional tennis tour. Mm. Amazing talent right there. A lot of right people there. know Serena Williams. Exactly. Know they don't know Venus Williams. Williams yeah. Without understanding that she was the one who actually paved, paved the way, way for, for Serena, Serena Williams yeah. right Absolutely. there. So exactly. it's a fantastic one. Happy right. birthday, Happy 40. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Venus. Happy, Happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. On behalf of myself, Arika and Amanda, we wish you a very, very happy birthday. Yes, Ain't no do. kiss coming from me to you, though. Mm -hmm. Amanda got you, though. All Amanda. right, all right. I got you, I got you. So it's a kiss from me to, to you. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That laugh for that name. That's what just laughed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, up next, a rewind and Women Crush Wednesday. Take a look. Let's rewind. On this day, 1967, Barbara Streisand performed a happening in Central Park. And in 1973, Dolly Parton records her song, I Will Always Love You, for RCA in Nashville. Finally, on this day in 2009, Taylor Swift and Brad Paisley win at the Academy of Country Music Awards. And that's it on Rewind. It's Woman Crush Wednesday, and our woman crush is Dami Lola Adebite. Nigeria's showbiz industry has been blessed with many hardworking on screen divas who exude excellence and uniqueness through their works. One of these individuals is none other than Nollywood actress Damilola Adebite, who is our woman crush today. She's also an entrepreneur, model, and television personality. Like some other colleagues in the movie industry, Damilola says she has always been art-inclined right from an early age and would always be involved in one theater or music event or the other. She had always wanted to be in the entertainment industry and this is evident from a Nollywood success story so far. Her first acting stint was on popular soap opera Tinsel, one of the popular Nigerian TV soap operas. Dami then caught the attention of many producers with outstanding skills and soon her talent and acting prowess would grow beyond Tinsel. As a rising star with Claire Talent, she went on to feature in several other acting projects, most of which were cinematic productions like Michelle Bellow's award-winning Flower Girl, Heaven's Hell, Six Hours to Christmas, Before 30, and of course her most recent feature in Merry Men. Since her debut, Damilola Debuté has been one of the leading TV stars. She even won the Niger Entertainment Awards for Best Actress in the TV series. Now here are five things you may not know about Dami Lola. She attended Queen's College Yaba where she served as the Vice President of the school's Dramatic Society. She bagged a degree in Business Administration from Bowen University, Oshun State. In 2012, Dami Lola made her exit from the Teen Cell show but returned after a three-year break that's in 2015. She worked as a red carpet host and program anchor for Sound City from 2008 to 2010. Bet you didn't know that! Always wondering how Dami is always able to pull off challenging roles which come in different categories? Well, it's through her profound skill of breathing her characters. All this and more are why we love the brilliant actress and she is our woman crush today. A very hot, gorgeous, mm. damn gorgeous. Lola Some shots. so beautiful, honestly, and she's talented as well, of course, as mm -hmm. you saw from those clips right there. Mm. Alrighty, guys, it, Amanda, are you okay? As in, I'm just yeah, in awe of the beauty yeah. of you. Yeah. She's, really, she's, <laughs> really, she's really, really hot. It's like everybody's crushing on her. And she's uh -huh. really plus nice plus female, everybody, hmm. and a nice body as well. Yeah, she absolutely. does. Alright, guys, away from crushing too much, a little too much. It's time for Tweetville. Are you ladies ready? Of course, I'm ready. Alright, yes. so we're going to be doing today a little differently, and I'm excited because. Because you guys, as of course you know, because mm -hmm. we did it, Don't Leave Me Challenge has been everywhere on social yes. media. Yes. Yes. Have don't been, depart from me. There have, like, there have been so, so <laughs> many like good the, ones. Mm -hmm. This movement has gone to, like... I must like, say, what, I Jamaica, is one of the best. Yeah. Ours yes. is one of the best, Absolutely. I can't even lie. <laughs> and so many people are saying that as well. But um, it's gone across the world. Like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. People are really participating. So we compiled a few videos, put together a few of the videos that we really liked. Um, some funnier than others, of course. But, yeah, so let's check out some. And I threw in a surprise at the end for you. So this is just too funny, so let's check it out. <laughs> Give us something to think about so we can take things away. Ah uh ah. -uh. Josh, say something now. Talk. 
joke now. Uh -uh. Can't you see? Can't you see I'm on leave? E what? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to take my leave. E I can't believe this. I can't believe this, bro. What? What? Don't disturb me. Live your life. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for me. Wait for me. Don't leave me. Ah, ah, that's too funny. Don't leave me. So people have been arguing like this is exactly. the original video or not. But this yeah. is actually so I like funny. It, like the pun. He, so he says <laughs> so he, he wrote that, that video was from two years ago when the when the think about it movement started. started. And he so he claims that it was actually him that set off this movement. Wow. And some people are like, ah, two years later, this movement is popping. Other people say it was someone else. Other people mm -hmm. say it actually started outside so Nigeria. Much, so, much so we don't even fight. know. The contention is serious. <laughs> but yeah, let's check out some more. This mm -hmm. was one of the ones that I thought were really funny as well. Check it out. Sir, please. Excuse me, sir. Sir, please wait. Sir, please, what's the size of your cap? Jeez, shut up, your mouth. Shut up. Ah. Uh -huh. Can't you see I'm holding something? I'm going for a boat trip and you're asking me what's the size of my cap. You want the boat to capsize? Hey! Sir, please wait, sir, please don't depart. Don't leave me. Don't what's leave me. Don't leave me, sir. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. What's the problem again? Ah, sir, you want to leave me? You're never, you're never happy. I'm not I'm not 40 years old. You can never tell a 40-year-old man to stay and not leave you. Why, sir? Because 40 leaves. Jesus, <laughs> sir, please wait, sir, wait, sir. Please don't leave me. What again? Leave. What again is sir, the problem? Please don't leave me, sir. Please don't leave me. Okay, okay. See, does your brother play football? Does he know football? Yes, sir. He's even a coach. He's sir. a coach. Ah, very good. See, if he has somebody on the pitch, I cannot chip the ball. I cannot chip the ball yes, sir. over another player or inside the post. I have mm. something for him. Tell him to put this on the pitch. Ah, uh, but why, sir? Because plantain chips. Jesus, <laughs> sir, please wait, sir, wait. Sir, don't leave me. Please don't depart. Please don't what depart. What is the problem, sir, 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 word of wisdom. Ah, well, I have to go. I, I'm, I'm owing somebody. I'm owing uh, somebody. Sir, I thought uh, you were a celebrity. Of course I'm a celebrity. Davido. Jesus, <laughs> sir, please wait, sir, please wait. But sir, please, why are you running? You know you're a wicked man. What's, what's the meaning? Because of? wicked men run it where no man pursues. Leave me. Leave me. Hmm. What is this? Iron. Iron. What is it now? Iron man. <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. If I sow hmm. and I'm a Malian, hmm. does that mean I'm a Somalian? <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. What is this? Curry. Curry. If I put it on this door, hmm. does that make it a corridor? Oh, don't leave me. 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 <laughs> What do I do so? Walking, walking in circles. circles. What do I do so? Hmm. Walking, walking in, in circles. circles. Which color of research are we? Goat. What do I call this? Goat circle. Ah, don't leave me. Wisdom. 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 Chair, what? Person. <laughs> Chair person. <laughs> Another one. Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. 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 Yes. Tap water. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, 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 This perfume, yeah? Yeah, I it's see. Cologne. It. Every time I wear it, my mother says it's very strong. I, I'm putting too much on me, you know? Yeah. And what? So to fix that problem, you know what I do? Oh my god, tell me. I take this, yeah? Yeah. And I give it a lighter spray. Oh my god, don't leave me. Take me with you. You're running too fast. Don't please, 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 can you guys just bless me some words of wisdom? Please, 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 please. Okay, okay. If I put my cream mm. inside the fridge, mm -hmm. can I call it ice cream? Ah! Don't leave me! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! Please don't leave me! 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 Please, 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 please. Wait, if your mother mm. is small, mm -hmm. does not make her minimum. Ah! Mm -hmm. on the floor. 
Because I mean, obviously, that's everyone's thing. So many. I like the first one, the original one from Just Too Funny. Yeah. Can't see, I'm taking my leaf. I, I like the 40 leaves I'm on one. Leave. <laughs> yeah. I like the 40 leaves one. I like the one that he was carrying his shoulder like this. I don't know what he even said. That um, Harry Picking was there. It was so um, funny. Corridor. Corridor. <laughs> what was this corridor? Oh my goodness. See, um, you guys. Invest, I'm sure you, I mean, I'm sure you guys enjoyed those. Yeah. And of course, that was our own, the last one. Um, mm -hmm. If you didn't see it very well, <laughs> I know it wasn't your eye. Maybe you're a hater and there's hater spec in your eye. Wow. Go on our Instagram page and watch it. Hey, Thank you so much. Well, that's all. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> that's it on Twitter for today. Up next is an interview with the super talented Kenyan band, Salty Soul. I'm so excited about this. Now, take a look as the band's vocalist, Bianeme Baraza, Willis Chimano, and Savara Mudigi talk to us about their latest album, Midnight Train, among other things. Check it out. Don't leave me. <laughs> Stay with us. Man, I love how international this show is, oh, honestly. I <laughs> feel like, I feel like I'm in Kenya. Yeah. Right now. I love what? how we just cover music from Africa, all over mm -hmm. Africa, and of mm -hmm. course around the world as mm -hmm. well. Um, South is so huge, huge fan. Um, Uja and I have been talking about the album, which is yeah, really, really yeah, nice. Yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely, yes. definitely. Especially in the area. Yeah. Like, I know that she drops music, but like, it's just like the mashup between mm -hmm. Salty Soul and India. I'm like, ah, please. People are already <laughs> liking the album. Um, Oji has been listening to it. Before. I'm still halfway, but he has been listening to everything. And um, the album is actually really good, at least so far. Nice. And um, they talked as well about how they have a lot of fans in Nigeria. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Also, apart from East Africa, like mm -hmm. in Nigeria, yeah. after Kenya itself in Nigeria, they which definitely is so broke amazing. the Kenyan yeah. route. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the South Cell is. We've talked about them. And then now, this is where we draw the curtain. And this is the first half of the show. But don't worry, 1 p.m. is still on the way because that's where the second half begins. Yes. And you don't want to miss out on the East Splash Top 10 countdown, OK? So stay here with us. All right, guys, welcome back to the second half of the show. It is now time for us to chew it off, where one of us is going to rant about what is presently bugging her. Are you careful on your table today? <laughs> <laughs> rant I have away. a lot of things I want to rant about, but I need to pick one. Pick one. Um, ah, which one is really praising my body? Yes. Why do people get emotional, overly emotional, for not wanting to do the right thing? Hmm. Ex example? Okay. You call me, I don't know, for some weird reason, you, so you find someone who has my number and then you get my number and you call me to say, oh, Arika, please, um, I want you to do like a partnership thing with me. And, and I'm like, I don't discuss these things myself to start with. Mm -hmm. I have a team that I work <laughs> with. So, you know, how about I send you their email address and mm -hmm. all that. The, the moment I said, I don't handle these things myself, the person's like, ah, but uh, your friend Faladele gave me your number, not like you. Ah, um, because I'm like, wait, so. I'm about to do that. You wouldn't do that because you know that. Harry can't come for you. Harry can't know. She will not even be nice. Go on, because. <laughs> and the thing, the truth about it is, I get a bit defensive when people like call me directly like that because. If I don't give you my number myself, I'm always like, what, what is it? Mm. That's why, and that's another reason I said, look, I need a team because I'm always like, if I don't know your number, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm, there's a way I sound. So I'm like, um, well, I don't handle this thing myself. You know, my team would handle this. So what I'm going to do is I'll text you the email address. And say, but uh, your friend for Ladele gave me your number now, and I'm already talking to you. So why do I need to send an email? And I'm like, because that's the procedure. It's like, hey, but now that I'm not talking to you, that, was, that one is procedure. I'm already talking to you. Man, I'm like, well. but Matt, that's 
the procedure. Like you have to, okay, even if you don't want to send the email to them, I'll send you my own email address and then I'll forward it to them. I'll let them know that you're my person so they can give you this and she's like, ah, now wow. <laughs> you have never even blown, you're already doing it anyhow. Wow. First call this morning. Wow. The first person that that's like, about this call. You know, because like that's about to decide whether that's my next round. 7 a.m. ish. No, that is horrible. So you know, you're about people say, "Got to fish me lower." That is what they used to wear coming to the new <laughs> day. To the new day. day. <laughs> so I don't understand why you don't want to do the right thing, and it happens a lot. Even sometimes as an actor, you get like they, they send you emails and they tell you about, "Oh, I want you to be, a, um, I want you to work on my project," and you say, "Oh, please send me the script. Mm -hmm. Let me go through the script, and then." I'll let you know if it's something I exactly. like, and I'll, and that's when I can charge, I can give you my fee. But then they're like, no, now just tell me. No, why don't you, people like to do the right thing? Go through the right procedure. <laughs> and I've come to understand that people, when, they, when you don't let people yeah. disrespect you, when you make them go through the natural procedure, they start to make you seem like you're difficult, like you're a difficult yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. And you're the one that doesn't want to do the right thing. Yeah. So this will now go to the round of, be the change you want to see, because you bash out in government, government, government. Tomorrow night, if government says, okay, everybody has to be on the queue, no bribe, no nothing, you will still complain. If you're behaving this way when I tell you to do, right, do, do the right thing, mm -hmm. you would complain about that mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So yes, let's I just think, learn to do the right thing. Very, 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 very valid problem with Nigerians because we do not understand structure, yes. first of all. You know, that is a structure problem. You know, send an email, do this, stay on the line, wait, because there's always somebody that is going to jump the, the queue, queue yeah. you know, bypass the structure. So you that are sticking to the structure now start to look very difficult. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's not your problem. And like the odd one out. <laughs> and um, the odd one I, out. I couldn't yeah. agree with Amanda. I was actually going to say that in maybe more or less words. But also, I can't believe that your rant is even the fact that she's upset about structure when your rant could also be the fact says a lot of things. This is a multifaceted rant That's because we can talk about Nigerians and government. Seven, uh, uh, why are you calling somebody at 7 a.m.? And then not, with your kidney, you're supposed to be your apologizing, Why? 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 Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just Don't gonna... Worry, I, okay. Take it easy. I'm not going the number out. Nope. <laughs> nope. Cancelled. <laughs> Who is the person? She has cancelled the person. Cast the puzzle. I'm going to cancel the person. Cast the person. Let's I know that, he, I know that he's watching. He watches in their show, um, in their office, so let me hey. not cancel them. But I've blocked you. You have been trying to reach. I've seen your messages. Oh, I'm wow. just not responding. On just behalf of the Entertainment Splash crew, we apologize. Thanks, sister. Then, you are cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, in case you missed it, here's what we talked about in today's news. All right, we started with this one. Chioma Roland reacts to domestic violence rumors against David Doe. Mm -hmm. And we also told you that the band finally addresses rape allegations. And finally, Naramali reacts to private jet airline's statement. Guys, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at TVC Connect with the hashtag e -splash on TVC. Yes, my choir, thanks. <laughs> and let us know which songs you are currently enjoying because when we come back, it will be time to let you in on this week's countdown of the hottest songs on the e Splash Top 10 Countdown. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Okay. No, right there with culture, make money, don't make mouth. I love it, I love Go it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for <laughs> something uh -huh. special. No, but really, though, you guys have officially entered the East Brass Top 10 Countdown Zone. From here until 2 p.m., expect nothing but non-stop hits, okay? This is our selection, and we know that you'll love it. And if you don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so at number 10 this week, we have, of course, the African giant, as we love to call him, Burner Boy with Odogu, slowly making its way out of the countdown. And we were talking it. about Burner Boy earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? No, I can't believe it. Like oh, Odogu, yes. Odogu himself. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I feel like we need to ask for permission for to it. Say to say the name. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but um, we were talking about him earlier this week. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Mm -hmm. um, he's now been nominated for Best International yeah, Act in, in the Best International Act category for the 2020 BET Awards. And of course, we know last year too, it was there and he won. That was when his mom gave the speech on his behalf. I believe it was last year or 2018. I'm trying to remember. Year, huh? Yeah, it was last year. And uh, yeah, here he is again. And it's just so amazing what Burna Boy is accomplishing, despite the controversial character that we so much like to talk about. But yeah, he's so talented and there's no denying that. Mm -hmm. So yes, guys, at number 10 this week, we have Burna Boy with Odogu. Check Odogu. it out. <laughs> oh, when you're hey. Boy right there at the number 10 spot with Odogu. Before you move on, have you noticed that Burna Boy hasn't been in so much drama like before? It's just been a couple of weeks. Let's ah! <laughs> lines wait. 
Fingers uh, and then you know it doesn't like you know he's no longer in charge of his account, especially on Instagram. I know Twitter he was still tweeting a lot, but I think mm. yeah, but they collected it. <laughs> they collected it. Well, I'm happy about that though. I'm wow. happy. I'm happy. I'll Stay out of drama. Doing an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it at that. All right, number nine spot is Files, and this is dropping one spot from number eight last week to take the number nine spot this week. And this is Files featuring Miss Banks with Bob Daddy, and we've been seeing some really nice Bob Daddy pictures of Files. <laughs> House? With the recent ones or the throwback with, ones? With due respect of crush. <laughs> I denounce you, my crush. Wow. Well, Just like that. On live TV. Well, I don't want to believe there's a, there's a particular picture that Adekule yeah. Gold posted. So there's something between Adekule Gold, Files, and yeah. one of the other friends, Sapi. Yeah, yeah. And I think the fight started with Sapi and Files, and yeah. they were just posting, you know, throwback, throwback pictures, pictures of each other. And. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The pictures of Files. You people should go to Adekule Go's page <laughs> to go and check it out. But then Files still did his own. He posted Adekule's pictures. I mean, Adekule said you win. He yeah. said you win. That's a tattoo neck. Honestly, as, as Sapi said, is it? It's a tattoo neck. Well, this video has 1.5 million views on YouTube. We're loving it and we're loving Files and his coats. His daddy's coats. And we look at this one Files featuring his bank, Bob Daddy. Oh wow. <laughs> his daddy's coats. His coats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you just checked out that one by Faust and Miss Banks with Bob Daddy at the number nine spot. Another eight spot this week, moving up one spot from last week, is credited to the AG baby himself, Adekunle Gold, with something different, a jam. Has about 509k views on YouTube so far. I think that's amazing, Colleen, a week. And um, they shot this video in the corona pandemic, um, this lockdown yeah, period. Yeah. And I like the fact that they were creative with it, using just one vixen. But what really surprised me about this song is, did you know that Ricardo Banks co-wrote this song? The song. Yeah. Amanda, I did not wow. know that. Honestly speaking. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah, like, it's just as, because there's actually something different, about unintended, this about yeah. this song. Yeah. And I feel like maybe it's that Ricardo <laughs> Banks vibe. vibe. What do you think? I, I'm, I think so. No, I actually was surprised to find out, because we were talking <laughs> about this, and I think it's really, really cool. I like, you know how I feel about Ricardo Banks. I really like him. And it's nice to also see that um, you know, our guys are crossing over. Yeah, um, yeah, we're seeing it more. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember the last time I really, really saw it before this period was, um, I think it was 2016, um, mm. Stan Innovation, Olamide and Tua Savage, he co wrote that song. Mm. Yeah, so, nice, nice, yeah. nice. But it is a jam. So check it out, Adekunle Gold with something different. All right, after this break. Hey, something nice. different. Yeah. They go right there, co-written oh. by Ricardo Banks as well. <laughs> and um, we were just talking about the video, um, the dancer Sarah Chips was in yeah, the video. Absolutely. Shout out to Niger girls representing us yes. in the States. Yep. Nice. All right, guys, it's time to talk about our number seven video. And this week we have Joe Boy with Call at the number seven spot. Hmm. Now, um, I know earlier when Joe Boy really started buzzing, we were talking, or I think it was Arike or Amanda who asked that, do you sometimes confuse, um, mix them up, Joe Boy and Fireboy? And I'm just curious, this period that Joe Boy has really been popping, I mean, he was on the countdown for like mm -hmm. two or three different mm -hmm. songs at mm -hmm. some point. Um, do you still hold the opinion that you still can't figure out the Joe Boy identity? Okay, so not just, it wasn't, I wasn't speaking for myself, I was speaking for Oh, it was people. you that asked, Abby. Yeah, I was speaking because <laughs> a lot of people always still confuse them. Yeah. And interestingly, like two or three days ago, I still saw a picture on Twitter, and then this is like a pic mix of Joe Boy and Fireboy. Mm -hmm. And I even, even me, you are confused. that I know <laughs> Fireboy, I'm like, Guy, the hair dude. Mm -hmm, For some mm -hmm. reason, I just noticed that they have the same shape of lips too. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. I really looked at really the really like that. Wow. So they, it's possible. And then nice the fact one. that they look kind of alike. I mean, yeah. they have yeah. the same hairstyle. They have the same fashion style. They have the same um, name ending as Joe mm -hmm. Boy, mm -hmm. Fire Boy thing. Mm -hmm. I okay. think that someone needs to break out of that. Someone needs you to. You still be, feel like that, yes. Amanda? You I mean, still their, feel like their that? music is differentiating them, but in terms of their looks, identity, so maybe somebody yeah. needs to change their identity. And somehow, I actually miss Fire Boy. Was it Fire Boy on the yeah, Durag thing? Durag. I wish you can go back to that. Okay, that okay. would be distinct. Okay, that's very useful and mm. constructive. All right, <laughs> thank you for your submissions. Wow. Now let's go check out this one by Joe Boy, titled "Call Blessings." Tell me what you Say bless you. Joe Boy Pondes. Hey, I love it. Pondek or Joe Boy Pondes? Ah, Pondes, Pondes, Pondek, Pondek, right? Thank Pondek. you. I Pondek. believe it's Pondek. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, you just checked out our number seven video, and that was Joe Boy right there. We call. All right, moving swiftly along. Number six spot this week is credited to the longest crush I've ever had in my life, wow. DJ Neptune. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Behave yourself. Forget about that. Remember you know that. He is. You can crush on someone and not want to date them. Okay, no, sometimes you. you 
You don't we just want, want to, to make sure crush. about that. <laughs> Sometimes don't want to date your crush. Thanks for Because that respect gotta be there. Okay. Thanks for the disclaimer. DJ Neptune right there featuring Joe Boy and Mr. Easy with nobody. And um, a few hours ago, um, um, DJ Neptune posted on Instagram and he said, you know, I'm I'm just few. Um, numbers away from hitting the first 10 million videos on YouTube. Wow. My first, and, and this Big is in three hits. months. So Big. it's like we made we made magic. Thank you so much, Joe Boy, and Mr. Easy, and me too. Everybody that you know worked on this project, it's, and I'm just like, this is absolutely a really big, big, it big, is a big huge thing. I, so. I don't even think they thought it was going to be that I, big. I, big. Yes, but the absolutely. combination, and it's not just um, in Nigeria. Internationally, people from yes. all over the world are really loving this one. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to say like, what do you? Because I don't know, like, what do you think it is about the song that just makes people love it so much? I was checking the other day, and it was still at nine point something million. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. interesting that you said it's almost ten million. Yeah. So what do you guys think is the reason? I think that is the combination of Mr. Easy, Joe Boy, and DJ. Neptunes, of course. Mm -hmm. I think it's also the video. The video was well thought out, and you know, some people also think it's Corona, corona that added to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> the, ch the challenge, actually, that's that's true. Okay. Well, we're gonna check it out because we just love it. DJ Neptune featuring Joe Boy and Mr. Easy with nobody. DJ Neptune. Uh -huh. Wow. Let's go. DJ Neptune. Yo. Still a jam, and um, Cobham reminded us why it's still a jam yes. when he showed us that he can go another way with he it. Oh my goodness! It. He owned Man that went song. from low he notes to high notes, and then harmonies in between, different parts. Bra arranged it like the amazing producer the that, that he is. Was when Mr. Easy was like, you know what, Cobham? We leave you. We leave you. It's your, your song. Your song. <laughs> Check it. It's yours. Oh wow, he did justice yeah. to that one. It's still a jam at the number six spot this week. Of course, on the East Flash Top Ten. Yeah. Yeah. And number number. Number five spot this week is credited to Dapper Two Burner featuring Mayo Kun with C Finish. <laughs> this song is, you know, jamming all over the airwaves and yeah. of course on radio and the rest. It's not doing so well on YouTube, but I saw this very interesting comment on YouTube and someone was like, wow, I love this song's morale. Mm. Don't let people see you finish mm. because over familiarity breeds content. content. Hmm. And you're like, I was a Nigerian song doing this to somebody. Like a Nigerian song. Don't but, let them see you finish. But, they will finish your sweet. But the message, wow. I mean, how you get that from Biscuit and Sweet? Well, it's deep. To it's death very death deep. But you said the song is deep. Now, Shabi, you were saying the It's other a very, very deep song, mm. actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's you deeper than the surface. <laughs> wow. We're going to let you decide. Listen to it very closely. <laughs> the Apertura now featuring me, I can wait to see finish. Ruminate on the lyrics. <laughs> I think that, that, that bottom one I used to pay me because a lot of people every time I post they're like ah, it's because of you I like it's because of you I don't like it. That was gonna please where's my check royalties please let's not call each other out. Okay now you are going too far but actually. Well, as you are collecting your royalties, collecting my own too because I'm part of wow. you that made you like this. What have you have lost for class? No, first of all, I did before you now told me. What is the difference between this and cyber begging? Uh, okay. ah. Wow. wow. Right, let's just, because we have been deep. <laughs> um, and number four this week, we have the very wow. talented Wandeko with his absolute jam again. So, Wandeko, hmm, lo, Wandeko, lo, please <sighs> Take a do breath. something about this thing. So, um, okay, you guys talked last week. What is wrong with <laughs> You guys talked last week about how, you know, Wandeko doesn't, like, if he had pushed, <laughs> yeah. this song is almost at like one million views on YouTube. On if he had PR. pushed, PR. In, exactly, without posting since May ending. Hmm. So, on his Instagram page. So, so um, one of the comments under this video on YouTube um, says that um, Monaco is very underrated. And this is something that we've heard time and time yeah, again. I mean, yeah. we know how talented he is and there could be more. Do you think that he's still underrated because... Because you can't say Johnny Jewel is underrated anymore yeah, because yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah, his talent. Yeah, he's put out enough yes, stuff for us too. Yes. Do you feel that because Wande Cole doesn't do a lot to push, at least in more recent times, he hasn't done a lot to push, do you think that's why he's still called underrated? Yes totally 150%. I actually yeah. genuinely feel so because as you said, you gave a very good example, the John Drew thing. The thing is that music has changed. You want to see your personal life, you want to mm. see your challenges, mm. you want to mm. see what you're doing. But even if you're not even doing all of that, T remind us about your music. Push your music out there. But this song is just pushing itself, itself yeah. and it's yeah. fantastic for I'll, him. And I'll say that you'll be underrated if you're not selling your market. Mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Plenty of savage. You'll be underrated if you're underselling. Deep. It's Plus Deep. Gang 2020. <laughs> Let's go check out our number four song, Wonder Call with this sweet jam again. <laughs> <laughs>
it's me because it's just my that this song hey, is a vibe. So hey. Too many girls have passed. Okay. Too many girls find passion. Okay. Too many things all right, all right. Life will never be the same again. Never be the same again. Juan Nicole, Sha, we give it to you. You are talented, so but then we need more of you. Ah, for Ladele, come back. In terms of work. Come back. Ah, she went to. Do you, okay, do you, do you want to excuse us on the show? Yeah, no, it's okay. We'll do you continue. Want to step out? I can go on this one. <laughs> Let's proceed. All right, guys. Yeah, you just checked that out number four video, and that was one to call right there with again. Number three this week is credited to Oxlade, and this is moving one spot forward. Yeah, it's moving forward in life. Yes. Oxlade with Away. I love this jam. This video is. Uh, Your hair is like, so cute. I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to segue. Like, I'm just checking like, you out. I'm just checking you out. I don't have anything girl. else to say about this. I just think you're hot. That's all. Thank you. So, on that note, I think it's time for us to go away because this song has like 900 and something thousand views on YouTube and it's a jam. So let's just go away and let me blush. And you're feeling yourself. Yo, that's a jam. Oxlade yeah. away and I can't I agree with you. Interestingly, the visuals and the audio of that part, where it's like, yeah. baby, let us run and look at the camera. Oh, I love it. I love, <laughs> love, love it. Now, I was going to say that a lot of people said that mm -hmm. this song is the best song he has on his project. Mm -hmm. um, and I, someone said, no, I think it's because it's the only one that has a video. Do you agree? No, because even before the video came out, like while it was still on radio, I was like, what Who song is this? this? Yes. And then I started my oh my gosh, Oxlade, oh my gosh. And then, but I'm also waiting for Table's turn. It depends on the type of music head that you are. Some people like, you know, less commercialized yeah. music. I yeah. think Away is, everybody loves it. Yeah. Yeah. If you like maybe Altair, you like the other you types like of his music. So I think that's what Very it is. Very correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> a jam right there by Oxlade with Away. We can't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. All right, the number two spot this week, maintaining the same spot as last week, is credited to the mayor of Lagos himself, that is Mayor Queen, in case you don't know, mm -hmm. with Ale Le Le of Lagos. Now, yes, Mayor yes. Queen has dropped some new music. Featuring um, bread. Be red. Be red. Be red. Be red. bread. <laughs> like it was in my head as bread. Be red. Well, it's be red song actually. Be red. Yeah, be, be red featuring me. I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he dropped a new feature. And then I was listening to it. I don't know if you know um, Free Winds. Yeah. Um, who the. Yeah. That, that, yeah. So let me do this. I need you guys to go listen to that song the and tell me if it's No, no, it's it. not if, it's true. It's true. It's not a question. <laughs> it's like everyone who listens yeah. and who has listened has said the same thing. It's not Ooh, a question. Interesting it's not just stuff. me, I think so. It's, all right, it's all right. Well, Mayoko <laughs> is giving us vibes with Oblega, so check it out. Yeah. Songs Jonah are so Pell. short these days. <laughs> songs are so so short these days. I don't I know think if I need like to it. apologize to anybody that's not from Lagos because you just be like, of oh, Enugu. No, they right. Oh, no, they oh, right. Sorry. Mm, it's not sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sweet. Yeah. All right, guys, before we tell you the song we have at number one this week, let's take you through a recap of the countdown in case you missed it, which I don't know why, but you did. All right, at number 10, we had Banner Boy with Odogu. At number nine spot, we had Faust featuring Miss Banks with Bob Daddy. At number eight, we had Adekunle Gold with Something Different. Friend. Number seven, it was Joe Boy with Call. And number six was DJ Neptune featuring Joe Boy and Mr. Easy with wow. Nobody. <laughs> Lost focus right there. Number five is Dapper Two Boyna featuring Mayo Kun with C Finish. And number four, we had Wanda Cole with Again. Number three, we had Oxlade with Away. Number two, we had the mayor of Lagos himself with Of Lagos. Yes. <laughs> All right, before we tell you what we have at number one this week, guys, don't forget that we love to receive your music video requests in the form of selfies. So do a selfie video like this, telling us which videos you'd like to watch right here on the show. Um, make them more recent, Sha, so that we will not fight. Keep that for Thursday. Tag at TVC Connect on your video with the hashtag Splash on TVC. And maybe, just maybe, we'll play your video on the show. And Number one song, ladies and gentlemen, for another week in a row. Hmm. Do the care by Simi, still buzzing everywhere, still loved by so, so many people. Guys, honestly, we can't even deny that this song is a jam and still a jam. Another week in a row, guys, number one. Yes, so enjoy our number one song this week, this lovely, cool afternoon. And we'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Mm. Mm. Just sway. Oh, yeah, we told them they would say sway. Yeah, they would sway.